The new Venusaur variant looks amazing. So I wanted to build a deck with it for the thumbnail. The issue is Venusaur really is strictly worse than Venusaur EX. With 30 less HP and a Mega Drain attack that hits for 20 damage less, the only real upside to Venusaur is that it's not an EX Pokemon. Therefore, it'll only grant your opponent one point when taken out. This doesn't really matter much with Venusaur though, as the game plan is to have Venusaur be the last Pokemon standing anyways. The biggest downside here isn't really the lack of stats, but more so the lack of a cheaper attack. Venusaur EX's Razor Leaf is super relevant, allowing us to make use of him even when we haven't managed to stack four energy. So in order to make a good Venusaur deck, we quite simply add him to the Venusaur EX list. Today's deck combines Venusaur EX with regular Executor, a lineup that aims to develop three Pokemon onto the board, two tanks, and Bulbasaur, so that we end the game with Venusaur as the last Pokemon standing. An unkillable tank that will overcome any Pokemon our opponent throws at us. Regular Venusaur allows us to make sure this game plan is overall more consistent, as we can evolve into him in games where we do not manage to draw the EX version. I'm not clickbaiting here! Okay, okay, maybe I'm clickbaiting a little bit. You say no to this gorgeous play, Dino. What Pokemon should I build the deck around next? You decide. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see what we can do. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We post daily Pokemon Pocket videos here. Let's see if Venusaur does something. Okay, execute. They play Kangaskhan, which makes sense in Mewtwo. We just need to not get them get double heads. Um, we have double Venusaur, so I'm going to go for the Professor's Research first before going for the Pokeball, because I want to draw Bulbasaur, no matter what. Okay, we do not find the Bulbasaur yet. We just have to believe this Execute will not get one-shotted by Kangaskhan. Mewtwo in, Curlia, okay. Routes, do they have the uh, Gardevoir already? Okay, Kangaskhan, I need you to chill. Oh, that Pikachu coin is making me nervous. Oh god, if I see double heads with this asshole in on screen- oh my god. Okay. That's the kind of day we're in for. That's the kind of day we're in for, ladies and gentlemen. Coin flip nonsense. Yeah, I, I, I love I love them having a free kill right there. So the problem with developing Kangaskhan here, now that they have the, the free kill, is we're vulnerable to a Sabrina, but nothing can one-shot us, so I'm, I'm not going to develop that. I'm just going to go with this. How about we miss a hit here? Hmm? We just need some good damage on this Mewtwo, so we're able to one-shot it. Uh, if they find the Gardevoir, though, we may be for a bit of... It may be a bit too slow of a game plan here. It seems they top deck the Pokeball.
We're in a potion and preserve the Erica. Though it doesn't matter as much because we need to be able to threaten this Mewtwo. They top deck another Pokeball, that's great. That means there's they still don't have Gardevoir. Now the question is, do I Erica here? What's the downside of me playing Erica? They can potentially pivot into something else. Like, we kind of want this to go down, but we also want to make sure that we can power through potions. I am in an Erica, though, because... Like, it's not like this Executor is doing nothing, you know? Um, the problem here... If they Sabrina into, like, a potion... No, I can't... I can't... The moment I drop this Bulbasaur, I'm vulnerable. Let's hope for a heads here. A heads would just like... Mm, now potion is a problem. Now like Sabrina potion. Sabrina potion is an issue now. They topped the Gardevoir, so... This forces them out. We play nothing else on the board. We don't want to be vulnerable to Sabrina. Our thickness here is uh, very relevant. We just, they have to retreat. Like they can't one-shot us. Like, are they are they kind of like autopiloting assuming they one-shot our Venusaur? Because our, our Venusaur is, well, what the? I think they're so used to one-shotting with side drive that they didn't bother looking at Venusaur's HP. Chat, let us prage, Gear God Y, who art in Spain, Tyler by thy name, the Kingler come, thy Beedrill the Dun. Give us this day our daily deck and forgive us our ropes as we forgive those who rope against us and lead us to not into the, lead us not into meta, but deliver us from aggro, amen. What what the what the hell did I just read? What the what in the actual did I just read? So again, we're playing Venusaur. We're not running X speeds in this deck. I have a theory that we just need to focus purely on he on healing. We'll see um we'll see how that works out. King is gone. Gonna come in with a with a one shot here. Oh, that Ivysaur. That Ivysaur feels good, man. I have to be careful though, because the moment I evolve, okay, the Pikachu. Okay, the Pikachu. I mean, okay, okay. Get some chip damage on him. Ding ding. Where lore video? Uh, Niampatsu, we are no longer in 2020. It's been four years. Sabrina, early, but we can just retreat. Even though that, that does slow us down, but... We're not as worried about Greninja chipping down our, our Venusaur because we just have so much healing. You know, water drip on me. You think you think my Kangaskhan is not gonna one-shot your frog of the you're playing with fire. My brother in Christ, you're playing with fire and I just got my egg. Which means I can evolve no problem. Uh, Pikachu? Pikachu, what the f- Pikachu, 
They need back-to-back -back Sabrinas into into Greninja. So this is the turn where we're vulnerable. Okay. And that's where the potion comes in, ladies and gentlemen. That's where the potion comes in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Potion. Denying your nonsense. And we start building it up. Um, Kangaskhan, you're kind of, um, I'm expecting big things from you next turn. I actually know you're, you're, you're kind of dead. It's fine. These executors are going to come in and finish off the Greninja. None. They're nervous, aren't they? Lord Darkcrow. That's very edgy. Thank you for earning yourself. That's a dramatic entrance. I've ever seen one. Okay. You got a potion. All right. But we're too thick for Greninja. I'm actually not going to pump up the Executor now because I one-shot this Greninja anyways. So I'm going to build up my my Venusaur instead in case they Sabrina me. This Venusaur is basically going to sweep them. Because their Greninja's a wuss. You're a lightweight. And you're already at range anyways. Thin the deck. Out of the last egg. Erica here. Now I can stomp because if they Sabrina me, I can finish that off. So even though I technically missed out on damage, I didn't want to be vulnerable to Sabrina sending my Venusaur in and me just being behind. Now I have the Razor Leaf enabled, so it's all fine. Oh, you're trying to run away from me, Greninja. Executor. You disappointed me today. Ah, I love seeing that Erica though. Executor, you disappointed the hell out of me today. But I'm at 30 health, which means they can't um they can't ping this with Greninja. That potion was super clutch there. Definitely way better than having an X speed. All in on the resilience. That's our game plan. Tank all the hits and break them. Here we go. Time to sweep them. With nothing but thickness. Maximizing our value right now. If we if we were to Erica, we miss out on 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 health gain. God, we're thick. We are way too thick. That's a dead Froki. And I undo your water shuriken. Too fat. Way too fat for them. Oh, 
I see what you're doing. Dun, 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 dun. You can go to the gym all you want. You will not break through this. Watch this, Erica. Shatter their spirits. Way too thick, boy! <laughs> now you just gotta sleep me. Three times in a row. Good luck. Ding, ding, ding. So chunky. Uh, you don't have the other thing, right? Oh, okay, okay. That does make me a little bit nervous. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Venusaur? Venusaur. No, 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 no. Okay, is there any threat if they top deck Giovanni? If they top deck Giovanni. So we gotta, we gotta go for that. Venusaur? Venusaur? What the fuck? Venusaur. Okay, I'm, I'm concerned. I think we may die here. Wow. Wow. Damn. Sabrina gives us the ability to bypass like certain problematic pokemon and we do have like really good damage early are we going second against water okay I can't think of any deck that doesn't want at least one Sabrina. No, that's not true. There, there are decks that don't need Sabrina. Okay. It's nice. That actually gives us more options. I do want to find that third Pokemon. That third Pokemon that makes me more invulnerable to Sabrina. A double red card degenerate. A double red card degenerate, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I kind of needed the Executor there, though. Holy crap. And they just played them, like, back-to-back. -back. Let me slow them down, shall we?
Ivy Sword top deck. This puts me in, investing into this Bulbasaur puts me in a situation where if I top deck Ivy Sword, I just stay in and I just, you know, curve into Venusaur EX. If I top deck Executor EX, I pivot into it. Like, there's a lot of great draws here. Ivysaur is the best, though. Ivysaur is the absolute best, though. Unless... Unless they, they have... They Misty Heads into Greninja. Misty Heads into Greninja. I do not want to lose to this double red card sociopath. Sociopath. English. Damage on Greninja is very relevant because I one-shot it. Nice, Giovanni. That's desperate. That is so desperate. You know who's coming. You know very well who's coming. And oh boy, am I going to love to see a conceit out of you. Double red card? Your mom. Out of my face. Venusaur EX sweep. GG no re. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Sabrina, the Sabrina was everything. Because they probably played two red card instead of two copies of X-Speed or other like really useful cards. Degenerate. Guys, eventually we will have that, that regular Venusaur game. Oh, uh, no. I got Ivysaur. I got... Oh, God. It's not great. They're going to draw so much with this Meowth. This Meowth is amazing into this Bulbasaur. Yeah, this Meowth. Meowth going second into a Pokemon like Bulbasaur. It's exactly the matchup it wants to see. We evolve into Ivysaur in the back. We have Kangaskhan here. Routes. And Mewtwo. Yeah, like they're just going to find a lot of the pieces here. I, I personally like Meowth in this deck. I think this deck benefits greatly from Meowth. There's Venusaur EX. I could take the approach of, like, jumping in here. I'm gonna evolve here, so I'm not vulnerable to, like, a Sabrina. Oh, home run! Huge. Huge, because no matter what, this Mewtwo... Gonna get chipped. We just we need to um build up this Venusaur though. A potion would be really good here. That's one Sabrina down.
I'm gonna Erica here because it just it gives us more time. Like they could have Gardevoir already, but they could also not. Okay. They played one Sabrina, do they run two Sabrinas in this deck? Is the question. There's a potion. I just need them to not Sabrina me this turn. That's all I needed. We're not out of the, out of the woods though, because with two Gardevoirs, they can afford to bring in another Mewtwo and wreck havoc. But being able to Razor Leaf here is really key. Because even if they have another potion, I two shot this Mewtwo. This Mewtwo cannot stay in. This Mewtwo cannot stay in. Like this Mewtwo is at range. They know this, right? They must know this. My brother in Christ. Um, I think, you know, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I really think Mewtwo players don't think that much. Like, they actually don't really use their heads. There are some fundamental, like, issues at play here. I think the one-off of Sabrina is actually quite important, because in some matchups, we need to be able, like... 100 is enough to one-shot a lot of, like... The problem is, like, the Mewtwo matchup is... There are, like, against a good Mewtwo player, there are some some issues. We have really solid attackers. Erica into okay. Okay. Don't don't red card me. We just need Boba. Quite frankly, we need more Pokemon though, because otherwise. Our bot can really have its way here. Let's be real, most player autopilot to farm the 15 experience per win with those generic meta decks. I mean, you, you generally see like the effect of net decking, right? It's funny, it's a bit of a conundrum, right? Because the, digi the digitalization of card games has made net decking more common than ever, and it has given me a job. Like, I actually make a living because of it, but I also kind of dread that aspect of it as well. Holy crap. Holy mother of brick. Kangas Khan! Kangas motherfucking Kong. And I still think I may lose here. But I, I do feel like... Um, there's like the vast majority of the, play in of the player base just blindly net decks. 
And uh, because they play such a powerful deck from the beginning, they don't know how to actually properly play the game. Like, they don't learn. Giovanni, interesting. Uh, can I draw into a Pokemon? Holy crap. This King of Kaskana is against the world. And we're, we're due for a miss, but the, my, my King of Kaskana is just so well trained. Um, I can pivot with it, you know? This is like, this is one of the worst case scenarios. Legitimately one of the worst case scenarios. You know why? Because if, if these, if there were like, if I at least had an executor here, Guys, I think, I think. I think this Venusaur may be a little bit copium. Just a little bit. Not much, really. This was a fine time to miss, to be honest, because the Koga threat is there. No Koga this turn. There's the Arbok. Why? We don't need to preemptively damage this. At 100 HP, we already one-shot it. So we are always going to evolve here. Play another Bulbasaur in the back. Go all in on this on this Ivy Store in the front though. We have double Erica, we have to make use of it. We want to force them to have the uh, the Koga here as they try to trap our our Ivy Sore. But we're thick enough to not have to worry about being killed by it. And with Erica in hand. The odds of them having a Koga are pretty solid here. Like, four cards in hand. It's hard to believe they don't have at least one Koga. The question is, are they gonna are they gonna go for it now? Or are they... No, they're not. And that's actually kind of smart. I'm at 40. Okay, 190. I am at 150. 100. Like I'm, I'm pretty damn healthy. I think I may want to Sabrina them now. I think Sabrina now is actually really good. They're definitely gonna want a Koga next turn, so I may just try to kill on them. Yep. Because now I just need one kill. So we just effectively outbulk their game plan. Like, this deck is good at trapping stuff. But the thing about Venusaur is he's so thick that even if you poison uh, our bucket, like, I'm, I, I got too much HP. And I got the best gym leader. Omega Kawaii. Two 
too much thickness. What an amazing Venusaur deck, huh, guys? Damn. Yeah, we did. it was obvious they had the Koga. I one shot you. And that's the thing, like, that's what, that, that's the ring I just put them, no, no I mean, you, you, you die. You have to retreat, uh, you, yeah, I mean, you die anyways. Smoked. Too thick. All right. Double Bulbasaur. Double Ivysaur opener. This is not like, this seems like a bad hand, but you know, we can use Ivysaur's 90 HP to tank a little bit, you know, and not invest energy into it and then build up the Bulbasaur in the back. And all we need is, is either an Executor or a Kangaskhan as like the third Pokemon, because that's the approach we're always taking with this Venusaur deck. We're, we're not, in most matchups, we're never developing more than three Pokemon, because that just nullifies endgame Sabrinas. I've thought about like adding like Fossil into like Aerodactyl, but it's just, it is true that it's just like, it, it it's a little bit too energy hungry you know when you want to be really building up the venusaur this deck really like the lineup works because both both kangaskhan and executor only require one energy so if they never balance cards in tcg tcg live why would they balance cards here because tcg live is tied to the um to the paper game Nilich. that means that the cards exist in real life like physically so you can't really like there's a lot of issues with tampering that's why we don't see them do that with magic as well instead they ban stuff okay they ban stuff here they don't have that issue nice anime busy bro So they actually, that's, that's a great draw. They have no restrictions. I'm going to evolve into Ivysaur just because we're going with this plan of like using the first, we're using the first Ivysaur purely as a wall and we're building up the second one in the back and we have the Kangaskhan to protect, uh, protect against some stuff. I mean, it's Dragonite actually. It's Dragonite. But it's easier to retreat this if they don't go through it. So because it's Dragonite, we are actually going to execute. And we're going to continue to focus on building the Ivysaur. Double Dragonair. They've used the uh, the blue energy on Snom, and now they're just getting a bunch of electric energy, so that also buys us some time. But the good thing about this Ivysaur wall is that it, it's easier for me to remove it. All right, they're loaded. Lock and loaded. Keeping this around. And this is a matchup where regular Venusaur could really come into play, but just giving me more thickness to play with. Okay, the, the Dragonite is still not online.
My Venusaur is, though. They cannot attack next turn with it, no matter what. And I can potentially pivot with it. Next turn they can, though. Ivysaur, buddy. Buddy, I need you to wake up, okay? I need you to wake up now. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. The problem is, if I evolve into Venusaur now that he's in the front line... I mean, I can always retreat with it next turn no matter what, right? Do I Erica here? If this goes down, so be it. I think I'd rather see where the um, the Dracos hit and then decide with the Erica. I think that's ultimately better. We have a lot of thickness. Regular Venusaur giving us the bulk. Oh, get out of here with that bullshit. Come on. Come on. You're three sleeps in a row? You're kidding me? You're kidding me here. Three sleeps in a row. Now we Erica. Because now I can I can potentially yeah it's, it's like four tails like I this is yeah, Frostmoth today has like completely rolled me over every single time like insane insane sleeping variants that's so nonsense man can i wake up can i please wake up thank you jesus christ um we have a sabrina here so we need to like plow through one man we're gonna take so many hits like so many back-to-back -back dracos What's the best odds of winning here? I bring you in, they come in, and they Draco me, and then I attack it back, and they Draco me. They're gonna Draco me three times. How do I not just get blown back by that? How do I not just get how do I not just get completely obliterated by that? Unless they make the mistake. Unless they make the mistake. I, I think I have to rely on this Venusaur actually. It slows the game down, and if I can heal some stuff. Like this is re this is relevant health gain here, and they may just commit the stupid act of just like keeping attacking with this. And if I wake up and I heal again, yeah, they're just they just keep attacking with that. That's actually like that's actually a dumb on their part, because if I wake up here, I manage to stay like this. This Venusaur does not go down to just one Draco. I still think we lose though. I still feel like no matter what, we just kind of get blown back here. But I need the health gain on this because this means I survive one. But I think no matter what I do here, because I, I will draw into Sabrina, but I just I feel like I can't handle I can't handle like three Dracos here. Three Dracos is kind of insanity. Three Dracos is just kind of like absolute insanity here. So I need I need some help with some rolls here. We have the Sabrina and we need to potion for sure. Potion onto you. 
Like, we need to play this execute because we need to, like, if it dodges the hits, then we can play executor on top of that. And that allows us to tank more. Um, we two hit KO this anyways. I mean, have they played a single potion? They have not. There's a good chance they have two potions, and that would allow them to survive that. But besides that, like, the potion doesn't really accomplish much. If I attack with you, no, there's, there's just, like, the, the, the health gain here is just irrelevant. The health gain here is just irrelevant. We need um, some god rolls. We need some rolls that are just like absolutely amazing here for us. Yeah, we, we have to expect double potion. So this, this guarantees that we can beat that. They just blindly do it anyways, even though they get one-shotted. Okay, 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 okay. Um, is there a universe if, in which we survive this other Draco? With the potion on the Venusaur. There is there is a world in which we do this. We, put, we just needed a Draco to not hit the Executor, basically. We just need Draco to not hit the Executor on the right. It's possible. Like something like three Dracos in the middle and one in the back or like two in the back and two in the middle. We just need one to not hit the, the Executor on the right. We just need we just need this Executor on the right to dodge here. It could happen! Oh my god. Oh! Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Let's go! Pika Pika. All right, we got Kangaskhan. And we got Bulbasaur. We have the Pokeball for the third one. Like, this is the ideal opener. Finding three basic Pokemon. Honestly, like, ultimately, it's probably better to take out the regular Venusaur and put in, like, a fossil. Just so you, like, really protect the Venusaur from early Sabrinas. Five hours in the same deck? Well, not, not really. We've been playing, like, we played two, um, two hours of, like, actually getting the card just one more game guys nice we pokeball first we pokeball first to thin the deck before we research we drop egg And we can go. Kanga, you're drunk. You're useless. Worthless! We don't want to play the second Bulbasaur because we want to stick to our three Pokemon rule here. We're, we're working for an end game with Venusaur, and Venusaur can tank even the Raichu. Giovanni is very threatening here. Sabrina as well. Executor would be amazing, but we do not find them. I am going to Sabrina them here as an attempt to slow them down, force the X speed out of them. Energy onto Bulbasaur. Kanga. And uh, we missed twice. 
now they need X-Speed and Giovanni, which they could totally have. But they also, like, we have to take into account, like, Lieutenant Surge. We're missing Ivysaur and Exeggutor. And the fact that we're missing both is an issue here. But we do manage to slow them down. That's beautiful. And that Professor Research is everything. It's exactly what we need here. Let's find some pieces. Ivysaur? Okay. Uh, what am I missing here? Okay, the... Okay, good. Thinning! Clutch thinning! Okay. We missed two attacks with King's Counter, but it's fine. As long as I find my pieces here, finding this, this Ivysaur is absolutely everything. Again, we don't develop more. We do not develop more. The problem is Potion. We can definitely expect a Giovanni out of them. We're one Executor away. There it is. No Potion. Nani. They play Giovanni, they play Lieutenant Surge. We have to use this Execute to tank. Uh, the problem is, of course, the Raichu. Kangaskhan, like, really low rolled there, but if they don't have... Okay, so they probably top deck that Raichu. Five cards in hand. A Lieutenant Surge is there, for sure. A Lieutenant Surge is there. Uh, probably some other basic Pokemon as well that they can't play. A Pokeball. There's, they definitely have more basic Pokemon. They don't just play these. So their hand is actually full of basic Pokemon. And for some reason, they don't pivot the Pikachu. Which is really bad for them. Because now the Raichu play is, is not possible. We nullify Sabrina with this line. Pika Pika. They definitely have more basic Pokemon in hand. Have we already we've already played Sabrina to 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 slow them down? We need to get The beautiful thing is the combination of Erica and the uh, the Giant Bloom. We need to stay out of range from the Raichu. Staying out of the Raichu range is absolutely everything. Anime Erica! Into Bloom. This is checkmate. They cannot put our Venusaur at range. They definitely have Lieutenant Surge. But we're just too thick for them. And their Pikachu has no more hits without dying. The Raichu having 100 HP. Venusaur is the counter! The absolute counter. Everything on the board dies. Oh yeah.